Another big game was going on down at the reservation tonight. PNG taking on Dayton. The Indians taking on the Broncos. A lot of purple in this one. Cole Crippen's going to find Brock Hebert. Could be A-Bear from PNG. You never know, but it's a big first down there <laughs> for the Tribe. That's going to lead to this. Shea Adams in for the score. Touchdown. PNG goes up 14 to 7 over Dayton. Second quarter now. Carson Horton. As the Indians celebrate this score, finds Braden White rolling out. Okay, we've just jumped to the scoreboard here. We're having some issues. You were watching this one closely as it was coming down to the wire, though. And how it, about that? It is, and we had some more highlights. Unfortunately, we're I'm going to try to put a lot of this stuff online at this point. We're obviously having some issues. PNG though wins this game, 35 to 28. Indians take it, and you know Leticia. She was down there all night, and she's going to be there with head coach Jeff Joseph with the Indians celebrating a big win. They scored with just seven seconds left on the clock to win it. They were actually down 28-27. How about it? A big-time game. leticia has got to be there with the excited coach. Guys, I am here, and you know what, Ashley, you are going to give me a heart attack sending me to these games. I really can't take it. Me, I'm frantic right now. Coach Jeff Joseph, not so much. He is cool as a cucumber, as always. Coach, this game went down to the last seconds. How were you able to keep your team composed? I, I think it starts with our senior quarterback, man. It's, a, it's I had to lean on him in that last drive, and, and we threw the ball to a, our senior receiver, Chance Prosperi, and he made plays when we had to have him. You know, Cole, Cole's a... Uh, we kept it cool. We got frustrated in the second half. They, they changed some of the stuff they were doing to us coverage-wise, and uh, we didn't do a great job adjusting for most of the second half. But he made plays when we had to have them. Absolutely, and he made the plays, and you guys got that win tonight. Now it is homecoming for you guys. Talk about what this win, win means tonight. I mean, all the, all the wins are important, and we're, we're fighting right now to uh, have a playoff game here at the reservation, and uh, we found a way to get this one done tonight against a really talented Dayton team. Absolutely, and next up you take on Santa Fe. Do you think you need to make any adjustments for next week? <laughs> Well, I'm going to try to celebrate this one tonight and, and enjoy this victory and this homecoming celebration. And then uh, we'll watch the video of Santa Fe tomorrow and see what we're up against. All right. Sounds good. Well, go enjoy your win, Coach. Thank you so much for joining us. You know, and guys, he talked about uh, Cole Crippen tonight. And Cole was able to extend plays and make plays happen when they needed to. And it was a, a team effort, really. The defense continued to play well, you know. And so, again, all around team effort. They were able to put two solid halves together and come out with the win. So, again, congratulations to them. They'll be heading to Santa Fe next. For now, back to you guys. Thank you.